All right, guys, welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. I'm X Factor, and we are currently investigating a murder. Last time we found Faith decapitated what? on the step, Drops or rather, her decapitated head. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. Hmm. All right, so let's head down here. What's this? Scrap of fabric. No signs that it's been here long. Can I take it? Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Hmm. Oh, I see blood. Just some loose trash. More blood. Hmm. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Hmm. Sharp enough. I can't do anything more over here. We've looked in the trash can. We've seen this blood trail. Let's go the other way. Yeah, we'll go this way. And investigate some more. Not seeing anything. We'll go up here. Can I? Can I? Nope, nothing here. Okay, nothing this way. Oh, I can press shift to walk faster. Not necessarily sprinting, but it is faster. Okay. Oh, what's this? I see a thing. Oh, that's a rock. Nobody there. Nobody there, but what about down here? Nope. What over here? Okay, so there's really nothing of importance other than that blood trail. Let's talk to Snow. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. Yes, we'll we should. find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? Someone brought her in from the outside. <laughs> that makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? The blood trail. I found a trail of blood. I saw it, but... What is it? It doesn't mean someone definitely brought it from outside, right? We'll see. There would be a lot more blood if she I'm was decapitated on the front step. This. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I, I doubt it. hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Okay, looks like we're going to the business office. For Fable Town. What are you blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? I'm the Must sheriff. Be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. <laughs> Fucker. Who was that? I 
because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Mm. Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Yeah, her pimp. Her... Was she a... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. Will do. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. <laughs> That's Where is the bottle of wine you would purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Hey, easy, buddy. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know yeah. what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. Now, oh, fuck you. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. I don't care. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. New oh, book of fables? Crane doesn't like people smoking and... I don't care. Never mind. Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress, and he's out the door. Hmm. Oh. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. <laughs> Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it... Probably belongs to him. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. <laughs> Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. Oof. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Okay, new Somewhere. book of fables. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Okay. Let's uh, let's read these entries. Two more. Ichabod Crane. Hailing from the haunted town of Sleepy Hollow, Ichabod Crane has been Deputy Mayor of Fabletown for nearly 115 years. Pardon me. Crane is a bundle of nerves and takes his job very seriously, though that doesn't mean he always does it well. As one of Fabletown's elite, Crane is often blind to the troubles of the less well-off citizens. Overall, Crane, Crane is an authoritarian, cowardly, and always hiding something. Oh. Puffkin is the talking, winged monkey from the Land of Oz. Now, as Fable Town's librarian, he spends his time reading and stealing the deputy mayor's booze. He's prone to mischief, so when something goes wrong, he ass assumes he'll receive the lion's share of the blame. He is helpful when he wants to be, but most of the time he'd rather be drinking. Someone would have fired him long ago, but he's the only one who can make sense of the filing system. That's a, that's a good thing to have. <coughs> oh. Hello, Vivian. 
Okay, let's, uh, should we talk to the magic mirror? It's the hey, magic mirror, right? Magic mirror. Oh, yeah. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. <laughs> See, was that so hard? Yeah, the rhyme. I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Faith. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Okay, let's see what she knows the about the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Hmm. What about show Snow? Me Snow White. Well, she's right behind me, but... Not much of a request. She's in this very room. And Buffkin. Show me Buffkin. I, I want to do everything, because I can. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> Maybe that was a good thing. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. We'll find her name. He's got the books. Ah! Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Damn drunken monkey. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's go see these books. Man, it's hard to kinda hard to navigate. Ah. Okay. There we go. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Hmm. Who this? Beast. Beast? Yep. Beauty. Beauty and the Beast. Red. Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Who? Red Riding Hood's knight in shabby armor. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. <laughs> there's there's Big B. And there's me. What a good day. There's Snow White. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah. Dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Okay, what else do we have here? The three little pigs? Colin and his brothers. Who's this? That's a, I know that symbol. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Hmm, okay. So let's look through here. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. <laughs> Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? Huh. He probably wrote this in himself. <laughs> That's the woodsman. What's this? It's on his axe. Familiar. Yes, from the axe of the woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing. I only translate. The Jabberwocky? I know that. Uh. No, not here. Okay, let's go the other way. Oh, hang on. There was a donkey. What's it say about that? 
It says brickle bit in an older elvish hand. What's brickle bit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animal shit gold. <laughs> Okay, that's it. You saw it. There it is. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo. I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Hm. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> Also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the uh. name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. Hmm. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was uh, his daughter. Faith. Oh. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Oh, that's sad. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Okay. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You yes, we should. Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. That was the... Yeah, we can't rule him out. I mean, but we have to like, tell him, yo, your, your, your wife's dead. Maybe not in those exact words, but, uh, yeah. Let's see if the magic mirror can tell us something now. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. <laughs> of which fable do you wish to know? Donkey skin. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? Huh. These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this these has to be. Faith said that. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Hmm. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Oh, shoot. What's he been doing? Uh, I'd say killing himself. Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince... Probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Yep, that's where we're going. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Let's do it. Well, ring ring. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Hmm. Bigby, it's for you. Who would know I was here? Bigby, it's me. Oh. Hello. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. What was that about? Okay. Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And 
we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad uh, might have to wait. I think we should go to Toad Whenever first. you're ready. The guy looked pretty dead, but... Uh, let's read these Book of Fables entries first. Faith, the donkey skin girl. Faith, otherwise known as the donkey skin girl, made it through the exodus from the magical homelands with the clothes on her back, her husband, and nothing else. She was once a beautiful princess, happily married to Prince Lawrence of a neighboring kingdom. Her life should have had a happy ending, but the main mundane city of New York wasn't kind to her, or her marriage. With no money, Faith found herself turning tricks to make the rent for a cheap apartment on the outskirts of Fable Town. She had a difficult life, but she did what she could to survive in an unfamiliar world. Alright. I think that's it. And, uh, just let me check the time here. Hang on. Yep. So, that's gonna do it for this episode. If you've made it with me to the end, I thank you for watching. And next time, we will head to Toad's apartment, or, uh, Prince, whatever his name is, apartment. So, goodbye.